This is an exam question where you're given a triangle and you're asked to find the missing length of a side. Now I ask you to find the length of AB. So I'm going to call that X. Now because there are one, two, three sides involved and one angle, it means that we're going to be using the cosine rule. Now the cosine rule is given to you at the front of your exam booklet, but you need to write down what you're using anyway. So that says that a squared equals b squared plus c squared take away 2bc cosine a. So the next thing that I need to do is to actually label my sides. Now because there's only one angle involved, we're going to ignore the fact that this is called C up here, and I'm going to rename that angle A. That means that that's sides A. I'm going to get rid of these points here. And instead of over here, I'm going to call this angle B, call that side B. I'm going to call this angle C side C. Now I need to substitute in the values that I have been given. So a squared is x squared which equals b squared which is 10 squared plus c squared which is 7 squared take away 2 times b which is 10 times by c which is 7, times by cosine a, which is cosine 73. So x squared equals 10 squared plus 7 squared is 149. Do that part first. And then I'm going to take away 2 times 10 times 7 times cosine 73, which if you put that into your calculator, gives you 40.9. So x squared equals 149 take away 40.9, which is 108.1. And then if I take the square root of 108.1, I get x is equal to 10.4 centimetres. Make sure you read carefully. It says here that it wants your answer to three significant figures. Don't lose the last mark here by not reading that properly. And that's exactly what I've given it to here, 10.4 centimetres.